Do what I just did at the beginning of this video. Give the three bullet points, give the top 10 list up front. Don't waste time, don't waste people's time. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jordan Anderson and welcome to this show. On this episode, let's talk about how to script your YouTube videos. Maybe you're just starting a YouTube channel, maybe you kinda wanna figure out, maybe you're not the person who doesn't exactly feel comfortable talking in front of the camera, so you kinda wanna build a script and you kinda wanna build some structure around it so that you're not just babbling in front of the camera. Let me kinda summarize it before we get too far into the video. The short version goes kinda like this. If people have never seen your YouTube channel, then they don't really have any rapport with you. So here's what you need to do, one, two, and three, to kinda make sure everything makes sense and I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. The first one is to put all the key takeaways at the beginning. The second is to riff where you feel comfortable and the third is editing is your friend so that's it okay so let's go into the first one we've been kind of trained a little bit or like the kind of the uh the dark side of the internet it, or the dark side of blogging or content creation is that you know especially like with listicles is that they will bury the best stuff at the bottom they will want you to click on something or watch the video and then you have to go all the way to about 80 percent of the article 80 percent of the podcast 80 percent of the video to actually get the good stuff or get the information that you were looking for and when you're first starting your channel and even my channel now or even the biggest youtube channels out there oh i want to say over 50 percent of the people watching aren't subscribed to your video so they don't know who you are this may be the first time they're watching you you know how google has worked lately in 2020 is that uh, it's really based about answering questions. So does your video answer the question, it, you know, as a search query, as some kind of YouTube search, Google search, they are asking some sort of question and they want it answered now. So if you're able, if your video is able to answer the question as soon as possible in the beginning, then that's going to be, you know, a valued video for Google. Uh, so to put all put all the good stuff at the beginning because when people are just searching they just want the answer fast They don't want to have to watch a 20 minute video 30 minute video of someone They don't even know they have no rapport with and they're just like look just give me the good stuff What answer my question as soon as possible? So put it all at the beginning and I think that really shows your confidence You're willing to say look. I don't care if you stay on the site for five seconds one second I don't, I'm here to just give you the answer like I don't care where you go from here You can stay on the site as long as you want you can watch the rest of the video But I want you to get all the good stuff up front. Here are the bullet points Here's the too long didn't read section Just kind of get the quick answer and you're out of here or you can stay and kind of get more detail from it Do what I just did at the beginning of this video give the three bullet points give the top ten list up front Don't waste time don't waste people's time second topic is the riff where you feel comfortable if you're just starting your YouTube channel this might be totally weird. I'm riffing right now. I have a, I have some sort of a script in front of me, but uh, in order to maintain eye contact, you have to riff a little bit. You have to be kind of comfortable. And, and I say riff, riff where you feel comfortable. So if you're talking about a subject, uh, I would get pretty familiar with the subject enough to kind of talk about it and kind of go through it. Uh, be able to kind of talk extemporaneously where you're kind of going off some notes. You're kind of quickly glancing at notes, but then you're back at the camera giving them information, making a personal connection. To be honest, 95% of the videos on this YouTube channel have been riffs. Like the my process in the past have just been, you know, write on note cards or write, you know, a couple bullet points and just kind of like tape them under the camera or like, you know, put them like, I have the like the note card down here. And I was like, okay, talk about this. And then I just talk about it for five minutes and then I let the editing do the process, which is point number three, but we'll get to that. Um, how I have not done this in the past, and what I'm kind of actually trying right now, I found this like teleprompter app uh, on Google Chrome, and you can do a teleprompter. I mean, teleprompter is uh, a very basic one for like a DSLR that would kind of like go over the lens like this. Could be like $400. So, and you need a, you need a second device, and you need some kind of Bluetooth connection device, or it's a uh, or it it gets kind of complicated if you're trying to do a teleprompter. But I have seen some like you know, cell phone teleprompters where you can like put the cell phone kind of right above your lens and uh, and that seems to work. But I want you to kind of get familiar with the material that you're kind of dishing out. To just read off a teleprompter or to just read off a note card and give a perfect, you know, square, uh, one by one presentation is, uh, it's a little bit stiff, you know. And if you're going to do that, and I would not recommend you do that on, on video. If you're going to read off a teleprompter, if you're going to read a perfect script, for your audience, then you're probably better off on a different medium. And I'm not saying like F off with your YouTube channel, but I'm saying if you're gonna give like perfectly scripted content, maybe a podcast uh, or maybe a narrated webcast is a little bit better. Um, 
or even write a blog post. You know, in a blog post, you're able to kind of perfectly tailor the words, find the right exact phrasing for something. In a podcast, you could record something, get it just right, you know, almost like you're doing like perfect narration on a movie. Like you just want to get it just right, get the timing just right, add the music cues here and there. That might be more beneficial if you feel more comfortable, uh, if you don't feel comfortable riffing and you feel very comfortable reading off a script and kind of going off that. If you're just, you know, I got the teleprompter right here and I'm just kind of reading. If you feel comfortable in front of the camera like I do, then that might be the best way to get the most organic vibe for your channel. You're not always reading off a script, which can make you sound stiff. But with a YouTube channel, you want to kind of be able to go off script a little bit. I mean, that just makes it feel more natural, makes it feel more comfortable. I'm rambling. Let's go on to the point number three. Editing is your friend. In, the, in this video, you're probably seeing that there are some jump cuts. I've been editing for like 15 years now. I, I would say get used to editing or find someone that is good at editing so that you can just kind of place the camera here, record for 10 minutes, record for 20 minutes, say your best lines, say them a couple times, and then just, you know, cut out the, cut out the blank spots, cut out the, the bad takes, and just leave the good takes. Some people hate, uh, you know, like this, jump cuts like that, but I don't care. Like it's, it's YouTube. Some people are just low, like they hate, but they hate jump because they think it's unprofessional or bad or kind of all done. But if you only, I mean, but if you only have one camera and you're the only person making this video, then you don't really have the option to have multi-camera where you can cut back and forth and cover up the edits and do multiple takes. Look, you just need to make the content. You, this is, you're new to your YouTube channel. You just need to make the content and go like jump cut, who cares? But I mean, editing, you know, every video has editing. I mean, unless you're just doing like a pure webcam or just like record and just leave all the, you know, the downtime in it, that's fine, the dead air, um, but figure out editing. Okay, cool. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Jordan Anderson, and I'll see you on the next episode. Get this microphone real quick. Hey, uh, before we kind of part ways, the video that you just watched, this is sort of uh, the kind of top, top layer of everything. That's kind of the... Uh, Jordan P. Anderson world. So uh, if you really want to do the deep dive, I want you guys to go to jordanpanderson.com and I want you guys to sign up for my newsletter. That's where it's, it's an email that goes out every single day and we kind of do a little bit more of a deep dive into topics, uh, into the videos like you just watched. Head on over there and I'll see you there.